Well, the time is 619 and it's time to look at your money this morning. The strength of the labor market has increasingly come under greater scrutiny. Last month, according to the U.S. Department of Labor, the national unemployment jumped to a three-year high of 4.3 percent. The number of job openings has also declined from by 914,000 over the past 12 months. But then on Wednesday, the Labor Department announced that 818,000 fewer jobs were added during the 12-month period ending March 2024 than was previously reported. Now, our local financial advisor, Mark Revicheski, joining us now on Zoom to break this down for us. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning to you, Devin, and glad to hear that Andrew may be sending us a little bit of that cooler fall football weather. Yes, Happy to hear that. We need a break just in time, yes, for the holiday that's almost here. Well, tell us a little more about this 818,000 downward revision of jobs just announced by the Department of Labor. Yeah, uh, look, Devin, it, it's certainly what we didn't want to hear about, you know, the, the, uh, the labor market. But uh, look, each month, uh, the Department of Labor releases its latest employment report, which, uh, you know, details the unemployment rate, the number of jobs added that month, wage growth, and kind of a host of other labor-related metrics. Uh, the data for these monthly employment reports, though, Devin, is collected from surveys from, you know, households, businesses, and government. So uh, employ employment reports provide a I guess you could say a fairly representative picture of the U.S. labor market. But once a year, the Department of Labor kind of recalculates job growth using state unemployment insurance tax records, which are much more accurate. Uh, and in its latest recalculation of job growth for the 12 months ending March 2024, uh, the Department of Labor, as you just said, announced that 818,000 thousand fewer jobs were actually created than the monthly employment reports had originally uh, reported. Well, obviously, we've heard a number of significant layoff announcements here in the Quad Cities area over the past few months. So what parts of the labor market were impacted most by this revision in job gains? The sector that had the largest downward revision to job gains was the professional and business uh, services sector. Uh, this includes workers in, uh, you know, accounting, uh, uh, office management, but also includes, you know, you know, legal services, engineering, uh, computer systems. Uh, for the 12 months ending March 2024, that sector's job gains were revised lower by. 358,000 jobs. Uh, the second largest revision was in leisure and hospitality. Uh, those job gains were reduced by 150,000. Uh, the third largest revision was in manufacturing, uh, where job gains were reduced by 115,000. Uh, the trade, transportation, and utility sector job gains, those were revised lower by, by 104,000. Uh, now, besides the utilities industry, uh, this also includes the broader retail industry and jobs in, in shipping and transportation. And finally, to kind of round out the top five, uh, is the financial activity sector whose job gains were revised lower by 76,000. So how do you think this latest news from the Department of Labor impacts the outlook for the labor market in the second half of the year? Well, as you and I were, were briefly chatting about earlier on, you know, it, it, this latest revision of 818,000 jobs, it's it just kind of like another cautionary flag on the state of the labor market. Uh, for me, though, it, it's important to listen to the recent commentary that we've been hearing from some of the largest companies. More and more and more of these large companies are expressing greater concern on the health of consumer spending. They cite record high household debt. They cite high inflation. Uh, they cite uh, you know high interest rates. And all of that is, is kind of creating a tremendous weight on American families. Uh, and because of this, we're now expecting a much more significant pullback in the economy in the second half of the year. And if that does happen, that economic weakness will then transfer itself onto the labor market. Employers will simply be hiring fewer workers, but we'll have to wait and see. 
All right, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Thank you so much for your expertise, Mark. Great seeing you again, Devin. Take care. See you next week. And